Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. I have been putting new makeup launches from Sephora to the test and I'm not just doing the initial try on first impressions like these ones I have been wearing over and over and over, putting to good use and pro and conning everything out for you guys so that I can bring you this video and tell you what is awesome and what you should not buy. It's gonna be a great time, so let's just get started. I have a blush from Natasha Denona. You guys, I am so thrilled that her stuff is now available at Sephora. I keep saying over and over and over that I just love this palette right here, the Star Palette, super expensive. I did a WTF on it. Some of you guys hated it, but I just, I use this one all the time. Now, I recently have kind of been a little bit disappointed by Natasha Denona products. There's a primer of hers that I just really didn't like. There is a foundation I recently talked to in Mondays, talked to, I don't talk to my foundation. Ooh, you need to go buy. Uh -huh. I just, I did not like that. I'm curious to try her new one though, I will say that. So it's kind of hit and miss is my point. This is a blush duo. You get a nice amount of product in here. You get one that is more highlighty and you get one that is more blushy. Now the thing that I thought was going to be the case with these is that they would be really, really pigmented. This blush is super, super sheer and you have to build it up quite a bit to see that vibrant pink color that you see in the pan. Now some people might enjoy that, but for me, it put too much shine and highlight right on the apples of the cheeks. I am wearing it right now and it's just a lot of shine in this region. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I prefer a good matte blush more often than not, especially when it's like a more expensive product. I just want more pigment. I want it to be smooth. I want it to be blushy. This one's 38 bucks and you just have to build and build and build and then you have just this high amount of iridescent shine it is a beautiful package everything about it's very solid i just adore this brand but i've been having such a hard time getting into some of the face products love natasha denona eye products they are some of the best the shadows are amazing they are foolproof and they blend so beautifully so i was kind of surprised that this didn't wow me immediately i have the shade 14 there are different duos like this this is not the only one but this is what i was attracted to in sephora i thought that this guy on the other side would be more of a highlight that would actually show up quite a bit this lighter one but it actually just doesn't want to show up much at all it's only going to put that kind of iridescent shine right on the apples of the cheeks it's nothing that you would want like to highlight right here with and give a good strong highlight so i just felt this was a miss however we do have a great product from natasha denona let's talk about that this right here Oh my gosh, I wanna cuddle this. I wanna like lay it on my pillow and go to bed together and just like. <laughs> this is like the most gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. I'm in love with this for a few different reasons. One, the pan itself is so fantastic to get a fan brush in. It's just like made for a fan brush to just go. Boop, 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 boop. Everything A to Z is gorgeous. Now, when you put this on at first, it doesn't show up super metallic or in your face. I mean, it's definitely there. Like you put it on and it's definitely there, but it's not like a super, whoa, metallic. Like it's not like an Anastasia glow kit, like super crazy metallic highlight. But I have to say, when you use MAC Fix Plus, when you use any setting spray with this product, it transforms into the most creamy but smooth highlight. It doesn't look chunky. It doesn't feel weird. There is no enhanced texture on the skin. It just makes everything look so flawless and glowy. I am obsessed with this. I cannot get enough. I'm gonna be wearing this like all the time. It's like right front and center, not even just top shelf, like it's, on the top of the vanity. I do wanna point out, a few of you guys have been wondering if I was going to review the Anastasia Glow Kit, the collaboration with Nicole Guerrero, which I was swatching it in the store and I think it's beautiful, but they were sold out and I'm not on Anastasia's PR list, so I don't get any Anastasia products sent to me. I'm not trying to be like bitter about that. I promise you, I'm happy to buy it myself, but they were sold out. Such a through and through job well done. Moving on to a little eyeshadow. These from Milk Cosmetics are so 
out of this world beautiful. They have had these around for a minute, but then I believe they launched newer colors. Now I did get this sent to me and I have been wearing them nonstop. If you follow me on Snap, you know that I have been wearing them over and over and over and testing them out, testing the wear time. And I have to say these are pretty gosh darn budge proof. They do not move around. They're very metallic. Some of them are more sparklier than others. Some of them have more of like a sheen and some of them actually have like kind of a gritty glittery kind of a thing to it. So I'm gonna swatch up my arm and put an insert in so you can see all the different colors. It comes in 11 different shades, very highly pigmented. They're 24 bucks. You get quite a bit of product in here. You get 0.34 fluid ounces, but the reality is you need like a pinpoint amount of product. I don't know how you would even go through one tube of these. They're just so, so beautiful. I kind of am distracted. Like I just want to sit here and like play with this product. Like, look at this. That would have gone great with my outfit today if I wanted to be really like matchy matchy for some unknown reason, but look at that. Is that not so beautiful? Let me show you the green one really quick. This one is gorgeous too. Like I just, I die over these products and you know, not all of them are bright and loud like this. There are some more neutral tones, but let me tell you, you put this on, whether you do it with a brush or your fingertips, it's locked in and staying there all day long so beautiful. I think this is just such an amazing cream product. Um, maybe a little bit of a challenge to get off. You might need to like break out an oil or something to remove the product, but at least it's long wearing. All right, for the next product we are gonna talk about, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I wish I had bought more. I picked this up myself and it says that this is an online only item, but I found them in store in Topanga here in California. This is from Huda Beauty and I have only tried her lashes before I've never tried any of her lip products and I am quickly in love these are so beautiful and they're all very neutral and wearable and universally flattering whether you have fair skin deep skin I think the range of colors is just so well done look at this packaging it's to die for now the formula on the liquid lip is really beautiful it's a little sticky it doesn't dry down completely like crunchy matte. It gets pretty matte and it is transfer resistant and it's just a good solid liquid lip. This is the shade Venus. I am wearing it right now. I am also wearing the lip liner in Bombshell. I don't know why I mismatched them. They actually have coordinating lip liners to the liquid lips, but I still think it looks nice. So I'm enjoying this. I think it's beautiful. The lip liner has like the perfect consistency. It just has this beautiful glide to it where you barely have to use any effort at all, but it's not waxy, shiny, or going to feather or like move around or anything like that. It's just a really, really nice liner. I love it so much. The whole theme at Sephora right now is highlight, 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 and highlight some more. Like you go to the homepage, you see like this beautiful picture of this girl that's just like drenched in glow. You go to the store, you see towers of highlighter, and there's just a lot of new stuff to pick from. This I saw from Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin. I got the shade in Sin. Gosh dang it, I don't like it. You put this directly on the skin, and if you have foundation or concealer on your face, and I'm not talking powder. When I have used this, I have been very careful to not put this over top powder. I've only layered it on top of foundation, but when I go to pat it in, it actually lifts some of the foundation up with it, and I don't like that. And I do have other liquid highlighters that don't do the same thing. So I just had a hard time using this product, although it looks really pretty on the skin, it's just not something that's easy to blend. So I'm gonna say that this is not hot. This one right here shocked me to pieces, okay? I did not think that I would love this as much as I do because let's face it, I don't really need like a purple iridescent highlighter on my face day to day like that just doesn't exactly flow with my whole look. Do you know what I mean? This is from Cover FX. This is the Custom Enhancer Drops in Hollow. It's not holographic though, but it is really, really pretty. It's not even picking up on camera exactly how violet and iridescent it truly is. It's just stunning. And when you blot this out with a dampened sponge, it just gives this glisten to your skin that doesn't look so super ultraviolet. It actually just gives you this very like just gentle glow and you kind of have this like goddess thing going on. I don't know what it is, but I love wearing this and I think it is beautiful. It does not lift off your foundation. You guys know I love the custom enhancer drops. I've been a fan of them for a really long time. So I'm not surprised that I enjoy this. I'm just surprised that I actually enjoy the color. Last but not least, I was gonna save 
this for a favorites, but because this is new to Sephora and I have them on hand, I thought I may as well share with you guys. These new lipsticks from Tarte are my favorite lipsticks that Tarte has ever come out with. I have been wearing them over and over and over. They are gorgeous. Some of my favorites are Set Sail. I love the shade Beach Babe. This just looks good on top of so much. Like I can even put it on top of a liquid lipstick. And it's so creamy that it almost, it doesn't look glossy, but it just has this beautiful glide, but it's so opaque. I love these. And every time I've worn them, I felt like they're very skin tone flattering. Like they do something to kind of pick up your skin and perk your skin up. And just the tones of them are so rich. They're very, very moisturizing as well. And these are 21 bucks. I did get the complete collection sent to me. You guys saw that in my major like crazy PO unboxing. And I have been reaching for them over and over and over. And I have a ton of lipstick and it just says something to me if I'm constantly going back to something again and again and again. And these have just been high, high up on my hit list. So that was everything that I've recently put to the test that is new at Sephora. Let me know if you enjoy these hot or not Sephora hauls, or if you want more of the try on first impression hauls, I'm happy to do both, but just let me know what you're enjoying the most. Be sure to hit that like button, share the video if you enjoyed it, leave me some comments. I love digging through them and reading what you guys are talking about and yeah, that's all I got for you today. I love you so much, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.